Try to fit in it, don't be living it. Cross borders. Better life, better, better life, better life. I know it. You want one of them? What color? Okay. And the children, they want sneakers. You know, I see a store around here. Got some nice sneakers. And they're not expensive at all. They cost like about $15 or $20 or so. I could get each one of them a pair. What kind? Jordans and Nikes only? <laughs> How much? But just a lot of money for a pair of yachting boots. But I'm going to go and look for them, though. Oh, wait, 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 let me write that down. A tablet? You mean like a pill or a laxative or something? One of them tablets? <laughs> then, then what exactly is a tablet? Oh, from, from, from where? Best Buy? Okay. I'm gonna ask Jack to go and pick up one. Cause you know, I don't know too much about them electronics. And while she's there, I'm gonna ask you to see if you could look for the laptop for Ingrid. Tell she I'm gonna ask you to look for it for she. Anyway, I gotta go. Jack just come in and I gotta go and get him eat dinner. No, nothing in wrong with Jack Han. Uh -uh. I am his wife and I will get him his dinner. All right, let me go. I'll talk to you later. Bye. Nonsense, this woman. <sighs> ah, hi, love. Since I come in, this phone going and going and going. I didn't even get to hang up my coat. Everybody calling with a list of things that they want. And there's only from Barbados. Them, them in Guyana ain't start to call yet. That was Club Foot Daisy you was just talking to, right? Who else? You got a damn thing to get. She nor she the face children. She did tell you that I must go and fetch my own food. Whilst she asking you to fetch things to she for Barbados. I so she'll lick Christian children them. Okay, Jack, don't bother. Just change your clothes and let me get you something to eat. You know, you know Daisy already. She and nobody in the family don't get along. I got Daisy and you got his. One in every family. What's she asking you go? A laptop, a tablet. She asking you to get the for she. It's not for she. It's for Ingrid, the big girl. Wait, she's sixteen and still in second form, right? No, she in third form. No, she start doing she work. She should have been out of school by now. Anyway, we ain't buying no laptop or tablet for nobody. You know how much them things this cost. Well, I promised to buy it for them, so... Ati, stop giving your family the impression that we is rich people. As it stands, we could barely afford the airfare and the hotel bill as it is. Jack, I promised to buy it for them. And so, but, and then don't forget that you family in Guyana, they tell you a long list of things, including a television. And I hear you saying nothing. Precisely. Precisely by not saying nothing to them, it means that you're gonna carry everything that they ask you for. At least that's how they see it. Tough. They ain't gonna really see me anyway. Remember we staying at the hotel in Georgetown? Hattie, get the door. Hattie, get the door. Yes, sir. Is something wrong with your foot? Hattie, oh Jack, you got to come fast. Me now go back in the house with that thing in there. Lord. Baby, baby, Lord. calm down, calm down, calm down. What thing? What are you talking about? Oh, she? It must be one of your fellas. <laughs> no, no, I want big nasty raccoon. See, I told you. <laughs> a raccoon? Baby, how a raccoon get into your apartment and you living up on the second floor? It must be coming from that roof up there, you know, the little attic space. That's where I'm coming from. But 
Me now go back to the no get him out. Baby, God. I just got home from work and we're sitting down to have dinner. Look, me and stay and have dinner with you, no? Me now go back to the no get him out. Baby, is this one of your tricks to get a free plate of food? Oh, Jack, is that? Oh. Come, come, baby, come. Go, go sit down. I can get you a plate. I can fix you something. Oh. How come you just didn't call Borty? Look, me not want that man around my house no more. Two raccoons in one night is <laughs> just too much. <laughs> you and Borty followed again? Look, if a raccoon in your house, it's not me you got to call. It's Beige or management. Look, me can't find Beige and his wife say I'm gone somewhere. Wait, wait, wait. Let me, let me see if I can find him because... Just You're the man we're looking for. Look, baby got a raccoon that get rid of the house and she's looking for somebody to take it out. Baby, you stupid or something? How come a raccoon get in your apartment and you live on the second floor? It's the same thing I asked you. Look, in another house, I may now go back to Luna get him out there. I don't do a raccoon. No, 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 no. You got to do something because you can't stay. Me and my wife got to talk over some business. Business? As a matter of fact, the business that we got to talk over, we need your privacy. Look, Jack, you want to see how frightening and shaky baby is? Huh? If one day ever get inside your apartment, still there. How she going to go back there? Look, and furthermore, whatever business you're talking about, you can forget it. Because I got to get up early for work tomorrow morning. Uh-oh, you best go outside and do 100 push up. Shut your face, bitch, before I make you go outside and do 100 push up. And you, Aki, don't flatter yourself. Because all I was talking about is about the trip that we're making to Guyana and Barbados for the Easter. Wait, you all going to Barbados? Where does we come from? I never would have known. Yes, man, from St. Andrew. Anyway, I'll give you some things to care for my family. Just a couple things. Anyway, baby. Come, let me go and see who you got in house because I got a lot of work to do. How come you always got so much of work to do? Because I'm busy. Because he don't do none of it. <laughs> you won't have to wait. Let me just start eat my dinner. Well, I go in there, you have to wait till tomorrow. The best has come this minute. No, 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 no. You got to get to know where is your home because you can't stay here. Look, look, baby. Come, let me finish. Go, go along with it. And when you finish it, come back and I can get you something to eat. Ah. Wait, wait. Before I waste my time, is there a real talk about a real raccoon or a man will get drunk and you try to rock? Look, bitch, you best move out of my way before we get rocking, man. Don't even look at me. You is the one who open your big mouth and tell you that we're going to Barbados. Good evening. We're preparing to have our prayer meeting next door, and the noise from your radio is disturbing us. Do you mind turning it down? I want to have some respect. Oh, when you're all over there, howling and talking gibberish all hours of the night, huh? when me and my husband be trying to sleep, do I come knocking on your door? That's not gibberish, you clown. We are speaking in tongues. And just in case, if you don't know what that is, it is when people are filled with the Spirit and are prophesying. Oh, just as I thought. You are drunk as hell and cussing one another. The Holy Spirit, you tit mouse. The Holy Spirit? The Holy Spirit don't manifest itself like that, sweetheart. I know because I just go to church. You all sung like a bunch of drunken apes having an orgy. You know that? The Lord is gonna strike you down for all that blasphemy. You watch. <laughs> it looks like he done strike you down already, sweetheart. You and your hairy face, wife. Look, look at your face. It's smooth like a baby behind, and she'll full of hair more than Santa Claus. 
we're going to pray for you. We're going to pray for you and that mother, husband, husband you, whoever you're married to. What oh, you just say oh, um, good evening. Uh, I was just uh, having a conversation with the missus here about uh, two of my friends. Um, uh, uh, good evening. Take it easy, Ati. I, I just bringing in these barrels. This is for C, and he helping me. He see me out oh, there struggling, and so you offer to give me a hand, eh? Oh, okay. Oh, hello. Good night. Wait a minute. You just work at the gas company, right? Uh, yeah. Huh? Mm. I know. I see you and your wife a couple of times outside the building, and I, I see y'all once or twice in the supermarket. <laughs> right, yeah. Anyway, Jack, catch you later. Good night, very good. That was fast. Yes, because you're just telling the man all the business. You know, anyhow, these are the two barrels, right? And the barrels is for put we food. So don't go out buying a whole lot of stuff to fill it up with stuff for your family. Because when I go to Guyana and Barbados, me ain't got no intentions of eating all them strange food they got there. Really, Jack? All of this is a waste of money. You spend more than 50 years in Guyana and four years in Barbados, and it's the same strange food you grew up eating. And look, I ain't see that you got no health problem. Yes, but my stomach now Americanized. <laughs> yes, really. You know, all the good fresh food you eat and you grow up with, now you're eating processed food. Really Americanized. Don't, don't worry about why I eat it now. You know, because, like you know, like I said before, my stomach Americanized. So we got to eat and do what we got to do. But for the more, I've got something else to tell you. Here's what I got to tell you. What? I'm gonna make a difference if we go back to Guyana. Eating, dressing, talking the same way. Who gonna be impressed? Hati, we got to show them people that we move up. Remember, I am the assistant manager at Cisco, and you was a nurse. We got to walk the walk and talk the talk. Well, tell me, sweetheart, I ain't changing up me walk. And the next thing you know, I fall flat from me face. Oh, not literally. You got to look as though you're American, because when them people look at me, they're going to see me as American, and they're going to know that we're not from Guyana or Barbados. Yeah, till we open we mouth, and they're gonna know exactly where we come from. That's so. You got to practice the American accent. And when them people take one good look at me and you, just by we accent, they're gonna be convinced that we's Americans. Okay, Jack, but you know how much money you're gonna take to fill them two barrels? Plus, we only spending a week in Guyana and a weekend in Barbados. When we can eat all that food, huh? Huh? Look, we might as well put other things in the barrel so we won't have to carry too much of his suitcases. You need to understand something. That when we go down to Guyana there, these barrels that you're looking to fill up, I don't want you to do that because it's going to put in a lot of food for your licorice family. No, no. I want you to listen to me, bro. Because I ain't going to Guyana to eat, planting, and eggs, cuckoo, and fish, and all them poor people food. All right, Jack. So go wash your hands, and let me go and eat with dinner. Curry, sardine, and rice, rich people food. all dressed up for this dinner is who you trying to impress I don't know about you but I plan to be dressed up all the time because when we go to Barbados and Guyana I want to touch down there with a bang plus poor senior wife coming over for dinner tonight 
Wait, would you ever notice? Anytime I mention anything but poor she wife or ask anything about she, how he just suddenly change the subject or get up and go home. Hattie, poor is a private person. You just be asking the man too much he business. You know, after all, you should keep your traps shut. He and your wife coming home for dinner tonight, and this is the first time we're gonna be meeting them. My man. What's up, Jack? Where's the wife? Uh, she has to be excused. Uh, she's not feeling too well. Oh, yeah. I'm sorry, sorry to man. hear. You know, pregnancy got its own temperament. So when should you? A uh, week or two, you know. Oh. <laughs> so I just have to, I guess, eat and run, as they say. Oh, <laughs> sorry about that. <laughs> okay, so we're ready and the food nice and hot. Can we have a drink first to open the appetite? Never mind. No, Jack. When a woman due to deliver in a week or two, anything could happen. So Percy got to be sober enough so he could take care of things. What? She's right. <laughs> so shall we die? Sure. Oh, oh. I hope it's not the wife ready to deliver. It's worse. What happened? It's baby. What do you want, baby? We got visitors. Come in, baby, come. We, we're just about to have dinner. Um, I, could, I could fix your plate. You had dinner already? Yes, she belly full. Look, I had a cup of tea and cocoa bread with cheese about an hour ago. Oh, you're hungry again? Well, well, you got worms or something? Look, this is Percy. He recently moved into the building. Hi, right, what's up? I come to get your opinion about something. But baby. No, no, it's all right. Visitors. It's nothing bad, nothing for shame about. I bought a job offer. Somebody looking for a guard dog? <laughs> Jack, stop. Look, it's an important job. I am going to be traveling all over the country and even to the Caribbean. No. You gonna be an ear hostess? No, no. Isn't it obvious, Hattie, that she's joining the circus as a clung from hell? <laughs> Very funny, Jack Grace. Oh, model. Well, model, wait, 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 before you say well. Modeling what? Scarecrow apparel? Halloween attire? You know, listen, I am going to be mod. I'm going to be a model, but not just any model. Not modeling clothes. I am going to be posing in front of a very famous artist. What is the name of this artist? Felipe. He's French. <laughs> he from France? Haiti or Martinique? He's from France, Jack. And he wear a beret and scarf around his neck. He black or white? He's black. Paul and handsome with a thick mustache. That's it. The man is a Haitian. <laughs> Jack, it don't matter. He's still French. Let me be happy for baby now. Look, baby, whatever it is, I think you should take the, 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 the job. You go after it, girl. So anyway, so you, what kind of model are you going to be? You can do it portraits with your face and all of that? No, before we get there, I agree that she should take the job. Give yourself an opportunity to be something other than a welfare recipient. <laughs> Jack. Ah, uh, okay. Look, like I said, we are gonna be doing portraits of your face and all of that? Don't matter with you. Yes. So, I am going to be traveling all over. He's going to be taking me to different places. The woods, the forest, high up on the hills. <laughs> And he said, he's going to do a portrait of me and call it Eve in the Garden of Eden. And you know, he said Eve wasn't no white woman, you know. She was a black woman. And he's going to get my portrait and make them hang it up in the museum in France. But baby, he going to want you to pose naked. Nothing <laughs> <laughs> wrong with that. Plus, I have the face and the body 
to be a perfect model. And you believe all that? <laughs> you just you're jealous. You too damn jealous. Look, I would have been making a lot of money. Yes. But but baby, this man gonna be carrying you in the woods and all these desolate places. And this is a strange man. You gonna be you ain't gonna feel bad to take off your clothes in front of you, all your clothes? Nothing no wrong with that. <laughs> photographers and famous artists and they make a lot of money let me tell you something beautiful women baby beautiful women not women who look like they're part of a road gang <laughs> Chuck, you're just jealous damn jealous <laughs> look i'm sorry I, I i have to go i i gotta go this 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 is too sick to listen to imagine <laughs> See a picture of she <laughs> as Eve in the Garden of Eden. <laughs> I'm making pictures. <laughs> you know what I'm going to say about the doctrine of creation or the theory of evolution? <laughs> it would say it was a beautiful piece of art, but something went gravely wrong after that. Gravely. Confounded idiot. <laughs> But, but baby, you, you say that you come to get me and Jack's opinion. Yes. What do you think? You think I should take the job? We are asking where you don't make up your mind already. Look, I just want to justify my decision. Thank you. I go and call him in the morning and tell him I'm going to take the job. But, but, but wait, wait a minute, baby. Did you discuss this with Bertie? What he got to say about all of this? Why should I? Plus, I'm going too jealous. I don't think so, baby. What, baby, I think you should tell him. No, I'm not telling him nothing. I am my own big woman. Okay. And you don't tell him nothing either. Not me. Plus, if him come looking for me, you tell him. I gone to see my Uncle Phil, the one in New Jersey. Wouldn't it be much more believable if we tell him you went to Rikers Island? Oh, Jack, <laughs> you need to stop now, you know. Look, bye, Hattie Love. Thank you. Goodbye, Jack Grayson. Mm -mm. Mm, Hattie, you see what just happened here? It's a sign that the world coming to an end. A terrible and a bitter end. <laughs> Imagine. Baby posing for artists <laughs> and making a fortune and traveling all over the country and the Caribbean. You know what I've been thinking? Yes, and you better get it out your head. Who are you talking about? Who are you talking about? I was thinking that the dinner was a disaster and I got to teach up this food all over again. That's why I've been thinking. That's what you're thinking? Yes. All right. Put them over there by the barrels. I gonna sort them out later. Wait, wait, wait. What's all of this? What do you mean, what's this? Is it things I asked to take the barrels for family? We ain't got no room in the bar, the bar for kind things to barbers for your family. The bar is for we food. Two bars of food, they got food and barbers. I don't plan to eat no cuckoo and baked beans three times a day, you know. Not cuckoo and baked beans. It is cuckoo and flyer fish. <laughs> Not a chief family. <laughs> we wasn't as lucky as when we was living in Maikoni. Mm -hmm. In Maikoni, we used got ketchup and rice and cockabelly fish and eggs and dumpling. Mm -hmm. Don't forget to mention chicken lo mein, pork fry rice. And that was only lunch. Oh, I forget. Yes, your crackhead brother used to bring her every time they release you from jail <laughs> to celebrate. Ah, whatever. Back to you. Yes. We ain't got no space in we bar for nothing that you want we carry, man. Bitch, don't bother me. I ain't gonna fit the things in the barrel. Once you okay. don't forget none of me food. Jack, we got enough food in the barrels. It's only these things for bitch and a small parcel that Hazel asked you to carry for your cousin Nora and your children. For who? Hazel, 
she called and she said she got a small parcel for you to carry for cousin Nora and she children. And I told her that she could bring it because she says only a small parcel. You didn't tell she she could bring it because I ain't carrying nothing for she nor cousin Nora. That's it. I ain't carrying nothing for none of them. Come on, Jack. It's your family. Yes, tough. I don't want you nothing but she, nor is it. And here's your big sister. Yes, it's my big, ugly sister. She's the ugliest one in the family. What? Even more ugly than you? Bitch, don't come out my house, yeah? Come, 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 come out my house, man. Okay, because like, you, you make my life miserable. Come out my house. <laughs> yes, this is the right place. Look, somebody here to see you. Who? Come and look and see. It's Hazel. Uh, come in, Hazel. Come in. Girl, how are you doing? How are you doing? Let yeah, me see things. Put them over there. Hello, happy. I am all right. Push I, them. Push them more in the corner. So push them. Okay. I am just dropping off these few things for you to take for Nora and the children. I can't say because the taxi waiting for me outside. Oh, okay, okay. You see the things that are wrapped up? Don't open them. Just put them in the suitcase just as they are. You hear me? Don't open any of them. Okay. Well, have an enjoyable trip. All right, thank you. And say hello to your family in Barbados for me. Okay, okay. I will. Bye now. Okay, have a good day. Hattie, hand back here to them back she just bring here. We ain't carrying nothing for nobody. I see you got two big barrels there. Put some of your things in them and take these few things for Nora and the children in the suitcase. After all, they need it. Uh -uh. Jack, I am going to try and find space and fit them in the barrels. All right? You hear what I say, Hattie? We ain't carrying nothing for nobody. What's the problem? I don't got the problem. First of all, you come into my house and don't have the manners and respect for tell me good morning. You wake up on the wrong side of bed this no, morning. No, no. Second, you come in here. You don't even come to this poor neighborhood for tell me nothing. No, you come bringing two big bag of rubbish for me and my wife for fetch the day and the Barbados for your family. We ain't carrying nothing. Jack, I gonna find space. I gonna fit them in the barrels. Hattie, stop contradicting me. You keep forgetting. It was Hazel and Nora who come at we fight. Keep talking who about come at me. We wedding and start a big fight. Me? We wedding was put on the news because the police had to come and break it up. So guess what? I ain't carry nothing for nobody. Jack, you got to forgive and forget, man. I ain't forgiving nothing or forgetting nothing. Blame me for breaking up your tacky wedding reception. Was you and laws All I did was to ask for a glass of beer. And her grandmother came and snatched it out of my hand and spilled the whole glass all over my new expensive crimpling frock. You're too licorice. You was drunk. Not so. They tell you not to give you any more thing to drink. Drink, and then what you do? You take and cough the old lady in she mouth. Me? Make your dentures fall out on the floor and somebody step on it by accident and break the lady dentures. But her aunt didn't have to come and strike me. I did not accost her. You did. And guess what happened? That's why the big girl had to step in and cut your tail. Cut who tail, you Jack? Tail. You're you... lying, Jack. You're a liar. No, no, no. I ain't lying. Because hear this. Cousin Nora jump in for try to defend you. <laughs> and she get a good royal beat dump too. You want she get your tail cut. So guess what? We ain't carry nothing for nobody. Jack. That's it. Very well. So said. But just remember the value of family, Jack. Mm -hmm. Just remember what family? that when you and Hattie first came to this country, we all chipped in to help you all get That's on your true. feet. Mm -hmm. Let me hear this. What feet? You're right. Two lame feet. Bad. No, no, no. My memory good. As a matter of fact, we stand on our own two feet. You know, let me tell you something. 
who used to get food from the Salvation Army. Your government. You used to meet Jack. No, no you she said we was, was, was family. She said we was family. So I got to let you know where we stand. Not only is the Salvation Army, we used to sleep at the church in the night and roam the streets in the day. Not my fault. Don't blame me for that. But you was family. You know what? Uh, what, what you, Hazel, you have put me out one by one. So guess what? Because y'all do that, me and Ati, we had to find ways to stand on we own two feet, and we did. So guess what? Don't come telling me about family because I ain't carrying nothing for you. Nor cousin Nora. Take that for your fastness. It's not you one, Jack. Just like everybody else who migrated to this country, we all had to learn to stand on our feet. We all had to travel the rough road until we achieved our goals. So stop your crying and complaining like a little two-year-old child. You know what? It's Sunday morning and I getting ready to say my prayers. So guess what? I said I ain't carrying nothing for nobody. Prayers, Jack. Don't waste no, your no, time. Listen, no. Don't waste your time at all. Are you stop? Are you stop this now? Stop Hattie, me. Hattie, Hattie, get this in my house, you Get this in my house. I said stop No, 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 no. Because stop it's it. you bring it here. And I, I tell you, get it. Because I'm about to throw you. Not, cut it. I stand up here and I listen to y'all all this carrying on. Y'all always carrying on and fussing and fighting on this brother and sister. You can't go behave like that. You know, in this country, all we got is family. All right? Hazel. Yes, Go on, Matthew. have yourself a nice day. I can try and, and fit the things in the barrel. Go on, have yourself a good day. Take care. Thank you, sweetheart. And Jack, you could say all, all the praise you want, but the Lord don't answer the praise of the devil. Hazel, go on. I think you see what is happening where you contradict me in front of people like Hazel, but I can tell you something. Good. We ain't carrying nothing for you, nor cousin Nora. The Lord can answer you prayer, so carry your damn self. <laughs> oh, well, look who's back. It's Bertie. Hey, Bertie, my main man. Hey, Bertie, Bertie, what's up? Good You're morning, back. Morning, morning. How was the trip? <laughs> Born like every other seminar. I signed in, and then I went and played pool all morning. Ah, oh, lucky guy. I'm taking to see babies over here. I've been knocking on the door since I got back this morning. No answer. You guys seen her today? Uh, yeah. No. She was here earlier. Uh, oh, wait. Uh, uh, Hold I'm, on. I mean, yes. What's going on? You're saying yes or no at the same time. Where is she? You might as well tell him. He's going to find out anyway. Find out what? What's going on? Hattie. Wait, wait, wait. wait what's, what's, what's wrong? There's another man in the picture again? Yes, but, but not like what you're thinking. You know, come sit down. Sit down, let me get you a cup of tea. I'm going to put on the kettle. Hold on, hold on, wait. I don't want any tea and I don't want... I'm not going to sit down. I just want to know what's going on with my woman. Say something. Somebody say something. Jack? Say something, Jack. Talk to me, man. Well, it's like this. You know, a Frenchman hired baby to pose for him so he can hang her picture up in the museum. What? He's going to be taking her to all parts of the country and the Caribbean to pose at exotic places. That's it? That's what all this tension and uneasiness is about? Baby's got a job and you guys afraid to tell me? I mean, what's wrong with that? I've been trying to get over welfare for ages now. That's actually great news. I might even take some of those trips with her, especially to the Caribbean. Jack, tell Bertie the whole thing, though. No? To use an artistic term, paint the whole picture. Oh, wait, there's something else? She's in love with this man, right? That, I'm not sure of. But what I'm sure of is that she's going to be posing naked for most of the portrait. Got the picture? I, I don't take the picture. Hattie, don't stand there looking dotish. 
Get the man a drink of water. Here, Barty, drink this. Um, it, it, it no, help you to compose no, no, yourself. No, thank you. I'm, I'm okay, Hattie. I'm good. I'm good. I'm, 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 I'm composed. I'm, co I'm composed. Compose, he's more like in repose. Barty, get a grip of yourself. Come back to work. You know, Jack, you shouldn't tell you about the naked skin part. Huh? You should have used better judgment, man. Ati, it's you who tell me to paint the whole picture. No, no, look. The poor man in shock. He can't believe we hear him. That somebody in the right mind would want to pay to see the naked skin. <laughs> oh, this is not good. This, this is not good at all. <laughs> look, but, but Barty, look. Baby gonna be famous. She portrait gonna be hanging in the French Museum. Well, you know, when I see her, we can have a long talk about this. A very long talk. You know, it's either gonna be me or, or, or this Frenchman. I can baby do this to me, man. How? Jack, Jack, do something. No, look, look, poor, poor Borty. He's he falling apart. Do something. Help him. <laughs> Borty, get a grip of yourself. Find a way over this woman with that IQ of a doorknob. Do you mind? I love this woman, okay? I care deeply for this woman, okay? Well, he sure fixed you. He better have don't come back here telling me nothing but baby. Because you know what? Me and listen to you ever. Hey, Jack. What's up? Percy, my man. What's going on? Haven't seen you in a few days. It's kind of busy. The mistress delivered two days ago, a week earlier than expected. Wow. Yeah. Congratulations, Daddy. A boy or a girl? Girl. Hattie's going to be proud of you, man. <laughs> She's going to be happy to know that the mistress delivered. <laughs> you know, Let's go get a drink or so to celebrate the occasion, man. I, I don't want to go if the wife is at home because there are a couple of things I want to share with you. And, well, I prefer she's not there. Well, she went out to get some things for the trip. We're leaving in two weeks. Oh. But what's going on with you, buddy? You look kind of down. I mean, you want us to have two beers or something stronger? Uh, no, no. I, I, I can't stay too long anyway. Let's just go to the house, you know? Because I don't want to talk in front here. Because there's some people in this building who always got their ears back to the door listening to people's business. What's wrong with you? You stupid or something? Serious, sir? You know you can injure people by banging on the door like that? You mama said monkey? <laughs> So, what you're actually telling me is the woman who just gave birth to the child is not your wife? No, no, man. My wife's still in Manitoba. I applied for her, but you know, it takes a long time. You know? I, I know, I know. I mean, it has taken a long time for the embassy to really answer you. Yeah, but... <laughs> That's not even the real problem. What is the problem? 
problem is <laughs> kind of embarrassing, but I don't even know if this child is mine. What do you mean? Well, when I went to the hospital, you know, to the nursery, I stood up in front of the glass. You know how you do. You know, there were three babies there, and there were two other men there. Uh, and so we knew that three men, three babies, one belongs to each of us. You know? And I knew it was mine because of the name. But she didn't have my last name. She had her mother's last name for security reasons. Security reasons? Why? In case my wife finds out. You mean she might harm the baby? No, she might harm me. And she got a heavy hand in that. Anyway, the three of us stood in front of the glass, looking at the three babies. And one of the guys gave me a cigar. But then another guy came and stood up there. So one of the guys, the guy who gave me the cigar, said to him, your wife expecting a baby too? He says, no. Nah. She had it already. That's her there in the middle. My Gabrielle. <laughs> I'd recognize her in a nursery with a hundred babies. So, so I just got up and walked away. The guy who gave me the cigar comes running up behind me. Hey man, hmm? you stand up there impersonating a daddy? Give me back my cigar, man. So, I snatched the cigar back out of my hand. So, you asked about it? Yes. As soon as I go home, I asked her about it. Uh, uh, what happened? <laughs> she said she ain't know who the father is. What? Yeah. Look me straight in my face and tell me she ain't know who the father is. No. Get this. Whether it's me, it's your boss, I get a load of this. The man who is cut Shalom. <laughs> You're kidding me, man. <laughs> You're kidding me. I wish the grass cutter, the man who takes care of the lawn, she was could with Alia. Probably the father of the child that's supposed to be mine. Me and the grass cutter rivaling over a baby. Mm -hmm. So, what'd you tell you though? What, what, what exactly you plan to do, man? Me, what I already did, what I done do. I'm done with you. I walked right out, I left, I'm finished. You mean you ain't even a little disappointed? To be honest, yes. Disappointed and pissed. So just take a blood test. Uh uh. No, 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 no. If that fool says that the baby is his, then it's his. I know about no kind of worms. And I rivaling with no kid, no, no I'm bush back. Pepper. Don't say nothing, right? Mum's the word, my man. Mum's the word. Hello. I was just leaving. All ready for your trip? Uh, just about. <laughs> How are your wife doing? You're getting more and more excited, eh? <laughs> yes. Anyway, if I don't see you before the trip, you will have a good time, all right? Okay, no, we got about two more weeks before we actually leave. Well, I, 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 I'll be busy anyway. Um, I'll be out of town for a couple of weeks. Oh. Plus, I have to go um, help my grandmother settle back in. Oh, she was away in Manitoba? 
Uh, no, in um, Bedford Hills. Ooh, mm. that sounds like a posh area with a lot of big houses, man. Yes, it is. <laughs> so, uh, she lives in a big house, it's a summer home, if you want to call it that. Mm -hmm. Anyway, tell her, tell her I said hello. Okay. You know, and tell your wife that the next time you come over for dinner, I want her to come with you. And you could bring your grandmother too. Okay. Anyway, I have to go. Jack, catch you later. Okay. Mm. Hattie, Hattie, Hattie. What? Stop bothering the man about your wife. She won't be able to come for at least the next year or two. What happened? She antisocial? Yes. You she a brick. Well, so be it. I ain't going to ask you about she ever again, you know? But let me invite your grandmother over, no? Because she's a rich woman, she's a rich, rich grandmother. It would be nice to have a rich woman visit me, you know? And then maybe she could invite me to spend summer next year up in your big house in Bedford Hills. Hattie, Bedford Hills is a women's prison? <gasps> in upstate New York. That's where she was for the last six months. After she jumped through security at the county fair. Jack. The hotel in Barbie is costing almost $600, and the one in Guyana is almost $500 and $50. And that don't include food. We still got to go and buy food, and there can be another couple of hundreds. Then so be it. But we're staying at nobody. We're going to be staying at the hotel. You know how much that's going to cost if we stay at family? They're going to all be coming out of the woodwork, and everybody's going to have some problem and expect me and you to solve it. But ain't it better that we give your family the, the, the money than the hotels? Hattie, we staying at the hotel. Then people getting ready for Judge we. Mm. we got to make sure that they understand that we're good in America. All right? I ain't going by nobody for beg for lodging. But Jack, we can't afford these hotel bills. Because you're spending all the money on your licorice family. No, laptop, tablet, Nike and Jordan sneakers. Hattie, that was the whole hotel bill. But you buy a television and post it to your family last week. Huh? Look, if we stay in the hotels, we still got to go by your family in Barbados and Guyana for food. How else are you going to prepare all the food, that them canned food we post them? Look, if we're going to be hungry, we're going to be hungry. Nobody ain't got to know. But we staying at the Hotel Hattie. We got to look successful. I ain't going to Guyana to eat no canned food. Hattie, if you go down to Guyana and make I look like I stupid, I warn you, we ain't going back there again, you know. All right. from the Garden of Eden. Good evening, Mr. Grayson. Baby, you gone for a whole week and then tell nobody nothing. Poor Bertie going mad, coming home for here every day, asking if we see or hear from you. You didn't even tell me that you're leaving. So how was it we all been? It was a disaster. Oh, who? You are he. <laughs> what happened? She stripped naked in front of the man. <laughs> Jack, stop the man. Sorry about that, baby. So, who went wrong? Everything. It was a disaster. The man was no artist or anything. It was from right here in Brooklyn. <laughs> he wasn't a Frenchman? No. Let me tell you something, he was an artist. No. He was a con artist. <laughs> but wait, 
it take you whole week to realize that this man fooling you? No, it was nice to me all week. It mm -hmm. take me to different places and show me where I was going to the pictures. And tell me I was going to start at the botanical gardens today. Jack, turn your face and cover your ears. I want to ask baby a question. Look, wherever you're going to ask you, the answer is yes. And furthermore, I ain't no little two-year-old that can stand with my face to the wall and my hands over my ears. Baby, did you and this man do anything that you wasn't supposed to do? <laughs> like what? Look, sing hymns and do by the study. Don't play naive, baby. Well, we had a long talk the first night over dinner and him tell me he was watching me for a long time. <laughs> he was watching you like how leopard is watch antelope. <laughs> and that he was going to immortalize my beauty through art. That alone should have tell you that he was a liar. <laughs> Jack, you need to stop. This is serious business. That man could have kidnapped baby and do anything to she. Yes. And that's exactly what happened with baby's permission. Oh, Jack. Anyway, so did he do any portraits? Not one. Every day I'm telling me we're going to start and we never start. Me get up this morning, six o'clock. Me looking at the room. I'm gone. Me looking at the closet, all them clothes gone. Me looking at the bathroom, nothing. Him disappear like midnight doppy. Baby, when you gonna realize that Bertie is the one who care for you? Huh? Bertie is the one who crazy about you. I agree. Crazy like hell. <laughs> Don't, don't bother with he girl. Bertie loves you. You know the other day, you should have seen how we been over here, how we crying and he carrying on. Huh? Crying and carrying on. Look, my advice to you is that you should go over to the apartment and let him know that you come back. But don't tell him what happened. For heaven's sake, don't let him know what happened. Uh oh, too late. Look, let me do all the talking. I can keep this short and sweet. Hey, Bertie. Hey, what's going on, Jack? Still nobody at um, the... Oh, I see the Mona Lisa's back. <laughs> Bertie, don't worry yourself. <laughs> Baby didn't accept the job. As a matter of fact, she didn't even pose nude. Really? She told the artist that she nakedness is reserved for she doctor. And check this out. <laughs> the man she loves. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah, she tell the artist to, to go, go to, to France. France. <laughs> <laughs> Look, all I know is that I'm glad that you're back. And I'm never gonna let you out of my side again. Come, sweetheart. Let's go home. <laughs> I'll do a portrait, but it'll be a portrait of my love for you. Pum, pa ba dum, pum, pum, pum. Jack, come on, let's go. The taxi's outside. Come on, let's go. Hattie, stop rushing me before you make her forget something. You got the passport and the ticket already? Yeah, I got it, man. You best said hurry, man, before we miss a flight. Hattie, you could drop the American accent. You already sound like a stale, drunk hood rat. We're living in somebody's tool shed. Shucks, it might be the taxi. We come to soon, <laughs> all off. <laughs> what it look like in the dark garden? Off already! We have had too much clothes! <laughs> 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 <laughs>
wait, wait, wait. What are you wearing, man? Hold on, wait. You like little boy blue heading to the North Pole. <laughs> it's like 90 degrees in the West Indies. <laughs> Baby, <laughs> the plane stopping in Antigua and Trinidad before it go on to Guyana. We don't want to look like we're coming in from Antigua, Trinidad. We want to look like we're coming in from America. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. <laughs> They'll figure it out. <laughs> the two of y'all got the ghetto burning in the body. And Clyde, <laughs> shut your fist, Morty. I'll pick up them some kisses. <laughs> Do y'all plan on coming back in those luggage? Look, she don't want pay the duty, so she put on all the hat. Put on all you want. Baby, don't hold your back, baby. Come and help you. I'm gonna help you. It's we have oh, in here. Oh. You pull on the push. Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Jack, get behind it. <laughs> Here we go, Hattie girl. The fierce judgment. Yeah, man. Come on, let's go. Let's sack it to them. There we go. There we go.